Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today I just have a quick video. We're going to be looking at the screenshots of Daki that were just released today. I'm pretty interested into her, as to her release, because she's going to be the first paid DLC demon character in the game. All the others were free, so I'm interested to see how she'll go. Obviously, the first picture is just her character model in her outro. Character model looks amazing, definitely expected that because they've all looked good. Now, we kind of get to see some cinematic looks at some of her specials. This, I kind of think, a lot of her attacks kind of remind me of Rui, so I assume you've seen them. There's like these three attacks we get to see. This one, I think, will either be something that just comes out of the floor right in front of her and launches the opponent into the air. Maybe she'll get a free dash up and that'll be a fun kind of combo starter or extender and like a good anti-air if the opponent's jumping in front of you. Or maybe it will be kind of like um, Rui's Tilt Quirk 2 and things where he just does stuff that just goes directly where the opponent is, or even Yahaba's Tilt Quirk, um, not Tilt Quirk, sorry, Tilt Demon special, where it just makes this, uh, explosion of arrows, or this spindle of webs, just appear where the opponent is, maybe it will be a tracking thing, or maybe it'll just be in front of her, um, it could be either, but I, it's pretty obvious that it's gonna launch the opponent into the air, so whether she gets to dash cancel it, um, either for free or with meter, that will be really useful if she can cancel it. But, um, that's about it for this one. This one is actually more interesting, I think. Um, because it, it's just ginormous. That's the only real thing that is really intriguing to me about this. Otherwise, it would be kind of similar to Rui's Tilt Demon special, where he, you know, makes the circle of webs appear where the opponent is standing however she's not armored like Rui is thankfully but it is just ginormous so I don't think it really matters like there's well, there's a lot of things that will affect this like how long does it take to come out how minus is it if the opponent blocks it um what happens when the opponent gets hit or blocks it do they get pushed does she like crumple to the ground does she get to go get a combo from it like is she plus it all get, like I don't I have no idea obviously it's just it's a screenshot but um I think no matter what the deal is with this move, maybe it's really slow to come out, or it's really punishable, or there's some kind of caveat, I don't see this move being bad, because just such a massive looking hitbox, hopefully this whole thing is a hitbox and it's not just a, this could be like a throw and it's just like visual animation, but if this is all a massive hitbox, that kind of makes Darky an absolute, um, Oh, what do you call them? Kind of like a, a spacing zoning character, but is like a, a holder where it just holds the opponent in place. And if they try and do like things, it's just like, stay there for a moment. And even if it's minus, she, she could, oh wait, no, I was, <laughs> I was about to say she could summon a support, but no, she's a demon. But just having a massive thing, if the opponent like is doing a lot of jump sidesteps or stuff that can catch the opponent like as a cool kind of anti-air doing anything where they are but obviously we definitely have to wait to see hopefully they show it in the trailer and get to see a little bit more of how it actually comes out and interacts with the opponent but I, i'm really intrigued <laughs> I, I love huge buttons obviously and then this is the last thing we see she's in the air she's in her like boost mode and doing something and i think this is either a special move or her, actually, her aerial attack string. So maybe, you know, when you're in the air, you just do attack and then, like, a, attack downwards. So she'll just go, like, hit with the, f the fabric and then whack them down. I think this might just be, like, the downwards hit, kind of like Rui's, um, just knocks her to the ground and maybe Nezuko will bounce here. Or it's maybe her dive kick, like, Rui, like, does the strings downwards and then pulls himself inwards. But I don't think they would do that, because then that's stealing too many assets from Rui. I think this might be either the area, the second hit of the aerial attack string, and it's going to bounce Nezuko here. Or it might actually be her aerial special move, um, the same version of this one. Where this one, it like launches the opponent into the air, and she's on the floor. It comes out from the ground, but then this one, she's just like... Putting the, the fabrics down onto Nezuko, and maybe bounces her or whatever. But, um... Yeah, which, uh, we also got a release date for October the 13th, or, uh, 12th, 13th for me. Um, so, they're definitely going to be a trailer, I guess, within the next few days, and I'm really excited to see it. She looks super, super fun, and I'm keen to see how the first paid Demon DLC will come out. She seems like she's going to be a fun spacing character, but I'm interested to see how she'll differ from the Yahaba, Rui, and... 
uh, Susamaru that we have already. So, exciting stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.